What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the final part of the Survivor Series pay-per-view. And we are kicking things off with the three-star wrestling championship. And out first, as you guys can see, is CM Punk. And his opponent is Corey. Corey Graves. So the winner of this will not only be three-star wrestling champion, but they will be a part of WWE just like Chris Garcia and Austin Adams. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get Corey Graves out here. Oh, look at that NXT. That is where Corey Graves is from. But he is now officially on three star because he had to retire a long time ago. So that's a perfect Titan Tron movie, I would say, for Corey Graves. But who knows, he might get the opportunity if he can defeat CM Punk here tonight in the finals of that three star wrestling tournament for the three star wrestling championship. So let's go ahead and get this match started and see who's going to win that three star. Wrestling Championship. The crowd is ready. I'm ready. And there it is, a three star championship. What a beautiful title. And here we go. Alright, look at that, Corey Graves pushing Punk back. Are we going to get a clean break? Yes, we are. Corey with the go behind. Taking Punk down. Punk getting back up, going behind Graves. And now Graves going behind Punk. Now Punk in control. Nice. Oh, and they needed the midsection. Now Punk with a headlock. Oh, what an elbow. But Corey missed. And Punk reverses with the... Nice kick. Oh, look at that. Graves went for his signature taunt of stay down. And Punk had nothing to do with that. He just closed on him out of the ring and now working on the legs. And look at Punk. Oh, look at that Graves talking trash. Right in Punk's face. Into the barricade. Oh, count of six. Man, what a way to start off part three of Survivor Series. Oh, Punk going to the top. Oh, and a big clothesline. But Gray's able to kick out. There it is, there's that taunt from Graves. Both men running into each other. What is this? Oh, what a backbreaker. Oh, and Corey, Corey. This is how he got the, got the advance last time. 
Lucky 13 is locked in. Can Graves get it on Punk? Punk hanging on. And no, Punk got out. Oh, what a spinning heel kick. Wait, what's going on? Oh, Bray Wyatt. What is Bray Wyatt doing here? Bray Wyatt's helping Punk. One. Oh. Oh man, look at Graves. Oh, look at Punk's leg damage. Corey did a lot of damage with that lucky 13. Oh, Punk going for the elbow drop. Too late. Big drop kick. And again to the leg. We're going to see again that incredible backbreaker. There it is. Graves are working on the midsection of Punk. Oh, reversal. Northern Lights, one, two. Oh, and Punk got out in the nick of time. Oh, and Graves just stomped on his face. Graves looking to do here to Punk. And there you see Graves talking trash again. If he keeps doing it, it's going to end up costing the match. Oh, what a superplex! He's looking for some kind of maneuver. Oh, and a chop block. And Ruff checking on Punk. Oh. One. Two. And Punk kicked out. Punk kicked out. I don't know how he did it, but he did. And a neckbreaker from Punk. Oh, Punk going to the top. Punk's going to the top. Looking for the elbow possibly one more time. Too fast. And now Punk getting Graves up. Falcon arrow from CM Punk. Oh, Punk's looking for GTS. Punk is looking for the go to sleep. And he got it. It was too late for Corey. Go to sleep. One. Two. Oh, and Corey using resiliency to stay in the match. Oh, Punk again. Punk's going for go to sleep again. Oh no, we got it again. I was too I was too late. I was too late. Come on, Corey. Oh no. One. Two. Oh, and Corey kicked out. 
Corey kicked out. No way. And a chop block. Corey is going for the dude buster again. He got it. One, two. And CM Punk kicked out again. But if you guys look, Punk busted Graves open. But Graves didn't bust Punk open. Oh, now Graves just choking the hell out of CM Punk. Uppercut from Punk. And a big left hand from CM Punk. Oh! And a snap. Unlock DDT. And CM Punk now just working on the head. Corey Graves and Punk going to the top again. Looking for the elbow drop one more time. And Graves got out of the way. And a big drop kick. Busting Punk open. see lucky 13 lucky 13 is locked in oh no my battery's low punk is hanging on oh my gosh Punk is hanging on. Corey Graves has almost had it. And CM Punk might get out of it. He does. CM, Punk's get, CM Punk gets out of it again. The snake eyes in the corner. Great leg damage now for CM Punk. I don't know if it's a smart maneuver to go to the top or not, but he's doing it anyway. Too late for the elbow drop reversal. And Punk going for the pin after that. One, two, three. And Graves couldn't take no more. And CM Punk is the new three star wrestling champion. CM Punk is now on his way to either Raw or SmackDown and can cash in the three star wrestling championship. Well, guys, let's move on to the next match. Alright, you guys, so our next match of the evening is. Oh my god. 
the WWE Universal Champion, Heath Slater, who defeated his former friend Rhino. But then again, I don't really know if it's his former friend or not, but nonetheless, Heath Slater, the Universal Champion, has taken on the WWE Champion, Braun Strowman. So, Heath Slater might die. But like I said, I don't really know if actually Heath Slater and Rhino are not best friends. If they're still best friends, I don't know. Because at the end of their match that they had, they shook hands and Rhino pretty much celebrated with Heath Slater. So I don't really know what's going on with that deal. But nonetheless, Heath Slater's out here. Let's go ahead and get the WWE Champion out here. Alright, so Heath Slater's in the ring and he's patiently waiting for his opponent, which is the WWE Champion. Braun Strowman guys this man is a beast when it comes to being that champion because nobody is able to take that championship from him but he does have quite a bit of challengers on Smackdown so it, they should be able to give him a good run I mean you got Lars Sullivan, Killian Dane uh, those are just to name a few but he Slater with being Universal Champion, he knew going after he after he won that championship, he was gonna be going into this match against Braun Strowman. Not very smart in Heath Slater's part, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and get this match started. Alright. Here we go in the score with Monday Night Raw three and SmackDown two. And look at this Braun Strowman right away, wasting no time with Heath Slater. So if Braun Strowman wins this, it'll be tied and then Oh look at Heath. Oh no. Strowman got out, but if Braun Strowman is able to win this for SmackDown, it's gonna be tied. And then for the main event with that traditional Survivor Series match, whichever how did Braun Strowman connect with that drop kick? Whichever team wins will win Survivor Series. And what a stiff right hand from Heath Slater. Oh, and down goes Slater. But if Heath Slater somehow wins this match, then Monday Night Raw is victorious because it'll be that 4-2. to two. How is he Slater doing this? Look at the strength! Superplex from Slater! Oh, and a big chop. Oh, Slater! There's a roll up! One! Two! Oh, and Strowman got out. Braun out just wasting no time against Slater just wearing him down oh and a big kick to the chest oh and down goes Braun one oh and Braun kicked out guys he's Slater ever since he won that Universal Championship from Rhino he has been on top of his game. So if he's able to defeat Braun Strowman here tonight and win for Raw, that will be incredible. But he's later getting out of it. A punch to the stomach, a punch to the face. And a big clothesline from Braun Strowman. And he later has to roll out. Got to regroup here. Strowman back in the ring. Oh, and Strowman with Slater running into the turnbuckle and a running power slam. Oh my god. One. Oh, and Slater kicked out a one. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Slater catching Braun and busting him open. One. 
two. Wait, how did how does Sherman lose the signature? I'm gonna drop gear again. Heath is in some serious trouble. I mean, he's doing damage to Braun, but in all actionality. Braun Strowman is actually doing, is the one doing the damage, and no, no, look at this, Braun Strowman with Heath Slater in the tree of woe position, hanging upside down. And a reverse choke, oh my god, Heath Slater caught the ropes, Heath Slater caught the ropes. One. And Slater again, kicking out at one. Too late. Running power slam from Strowman. But Heath Slater was saved by the ropes. Oh, what the hell was that from Slater? On oh, Slater. Picking Strowman up. Oh, no, no, no. He's going to do... Oh, my God. He's going to do an apron suplex. Oh, my God. An outside of the suplex. To Strowman. Oh, my God. Oh no, Strowman, jackknife power bomb. Count of eight. Count of eight. Oh, and Strowman's back in. He Slater thought he won it. Oh, no. And Strowman connects. One. Guys, how is he Slater still in this? As you guys noticed, Whenever we get ready to kick out, he Slater has a resilience bar, so come on now. He Slater is actually staying in this match, which is really crazy. And he Slater stopping the momentum of Strowman. So who do you guys think is the team captain for both Raw and SmackDown? I mean, I don't... I mean, we're going to find out here in a little bit after this match, but like... Oh, Strowman again. And not even a one count. He Slater kicked out. But I kind of wonder what, who you guys think might be... The captain. Oh no. Reverse choke slam from Braun Strowman. And Slater sleeping the leg. Now Slater telling Braun to get up. Oh! Slater got caught with the choke slam. Oh my god. Slater just got caught. Is Braun going to do it? Is he going to tie it up? One, two. No. And Slater kicking out. 
using his resiliency. Oh no 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 no. Oh no no no. No. Slater. Slater. Oh my god, Braun just crushed Slater. Slater's gotta be dead. Oh my god. In a brain drop. Oh my goodness. Braun in firm control of this match. Slater hasn't really been able to do anything. And now the Strowman's in control. Slater is having a hard, hard time. Oh, he's Slater now. Slater is coming back. Irish whip to the corner. Strowman picking Slater up. This is a long match. Oh, he's Slater. Crossbody. A sleeper slam. And Slater again. Oh, what a maneuver from Slater. Slater going for the pin. That could be it. One. Two. And Braun kicked out. Braun kicked out. And Slater, I think he was looking for some kind of maneuver, but he ran into Strowman and knocked himself down. Oh! Spine Buster! I ain't gonna be able to get Slater's comeback. I ain't gonna be able to get Slater's comeback. And reverse choke slam! One, two, oh, and Slater kicked out again. Slater did it. Slater kicked out again. Oh, no, he ain't going to kick out this time. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it again. Burning power slam. Braun Strowman's going to tie it up. One, two, three, and Braun Strowman made it. Three, three. Raw and SmackDown. So now in the main event in that traditional Survivor Series match, whichever team eliminates all the members first will be the winning Survivor Series team between Raw and SmackDown. No freaking way. So the WWE Champion reigns supreme over the Universal Champion and as you guys can see right there on your screen by Braun Strowman's hand Raw 3 Smackdown 3 let's go to the main event alright you guys so it's main event time which means it is the traditional 8 man elimination match So we're going to find out who the captains are for Raw and SmackDown because they haven't been announced. So we're going to find out just like we did in the women's match. And here we go. Out first is the dead man, the American badass who returned for Chris Garcia's open challenge to be the first member of the Men's Survivor Series team The Undertaker So 
So can the Undertaker win this for Team Raw? Over SmackDown, be able to defeat these guys. Let's go ahead and find out who is next on Team Raw. We already know who the members are, but we don't know what entrants are coming out. Because we know there's R Truth and Chris Garcia, because Chris Garcia was able to be given the opportunity from Triple H. So, who is the next? Participant, I do believe it is Chris Garcia's music. So, Chris Garcia is making his way out here, and there he is. As you guys can see, Chris Garcia wearing his daughter's shirt, but he has his own, so because his daughter is representing that fight anyone slogan. Chris Garcia let's go ahead and get our truth out here and then find out who the team captain is for Monday Night Raw Truth trying to get the fans pumped up. I used to love when he did that, that what's up thing. That was awesome. And who is the team captain of Monday Night Raw? 